you're just joining us this afternoon on Cabo Bayan LA, we just finished talking to Ruben Nepales, our Cabo Bayan in the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Napakarami pong pasalubong na mga kwento at chismes for us from Paris. And I told you he travels a lot. So if you missed that segment, log on to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Cabo Bayan LA 18. And the year is coming to a close. I don't travel as much as Ruben does or his wife, uh, Janet. Pero ako po e pinala din na makapag-travel naman all through the year. I went to Taiwan, Philippines, another, another trip to Philippines, and another trip to the Philippines. And also, I got to visit Korea once again. Napakaganda po ng bansang Korea. I know a lot of you go to the Philippines, so I encourage you to pass by Korea. Mag-stop over po kayo doon for a few days and experience the sights and sounds of the Seoul of Asia. This time, however, we did not just stay in Seoul. We also went to an island called Jeju Island, and they had a very interesting tea that we had to try and taste when we were there. Watch this. angle you actually feel like you are on top of the world or actually on top of the village because you see everything but then at the same time it feels so peaceful it's like nobody lives here what can you tell us about Song of Village? Uh, Song of Village is a very special district because um, residents are living here following their tradition from generation to generation and then actually this area is very poor environment for farming so uh, they are, have original I mean special right to sell some special products made by themselves one of them is um, kind of pea which has uh, five taste this is called omija sort of tea and it has five taste at the same time it's very important thing where does this come from? You know how like usually tea come from roots or leaves? What is this? Uh, just fruit, sort of fruit uh, from the tree. Mm -hmm. And that fruit is, can only be found in Jeju Island? Yes, of course. And I, it, it looks red. Is it like a red tea? Uh, red tea? Oh, actually, the original color from the tree is red. And then later, it has been changed, turned black. I mean the black is dried one. Oh, okay. I hear that they ferment it and they bury it for a year. So that means well, it's difficult to make. Yeah. So we can't be talking about the tea without actually trying it. And now I'm curious to find out because they say that it can actually be a gauge to see how healthy you are or some of the problem areas in your body because if it tastes sweet to you then that means you have a problem in your stomach if it tastes salty you have a problem in your kidney if it tastes sour you have a problem in your liver or maybe weak liver liver or you're a little bit stressed or if it's bitter then that means you have a weak heart so let me try this taste some um, sour so that probably means I'm under a lot of stress or it could also mean that I have a weak liver or it could also mean that I've been drinking a lot of alcohol lately but it's actually very good so cheers uh, let me try it first <laughs> it is sweet uh -huh. and it has some aftertaste oh, okay. what does that mean so sweet, uh, that means stomach. stomach, and an aftertaste, that means I don't have a good throat. Oh, okay. yep. But we have to keep drinking so we get cured, right, with whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This time, it's sweet. You know what I tried last time? It was sour. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different. <laughs> I don't know why. But what do you think of the tea? Not bad, though. Uh -huh. It's very good. Very, very tea. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> One more time. One more time. <laughs> We have more from Korea for you in the coming days here on Cabo Bay in LA. Kaya abangan niyo po yan. Meanwhile, still on the show, we talked about Paris kanina po, first segment. Now we talked about Korea. Are you ready to talk about Canada, even just for a little bit? That's when we return on the show. Don't go away.